Let's go into some comments. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, bop. Adam says, Cardano for life. Nothing wrong with that. Like, look, I mean, remember the very beginning days of, of Bitcoin? You were looked at as like a moron, as, as a, a mental midget if you were using anything with Bitcoin. Like, why would you do that? What's that backed by? Not by the government. And the government would never lie to us. So uh, it just, it's just, we're just in this point of time. That's just how it is. Uh, Jeff uses Alex took all my ADA along with everything else prison. There has been talk. Not me, but Rob, is it really about the fees and transactions? Wouldn't that be more important for a security? Are we investing in ADA because of an expectation of profit by the company? So the question then comes down to, what do you think it's all about? Are we investing into it to save the world and move things forward and digital IDs and bringing, bringing the, not the, I want to, I hate to say that word unbanked, but bringing the unbanked into the, into the banked world and also uh, to bring people forward uh, into the telecommunications world, like what uh, World Mobile is doing, which speaking of which, in uh, 30 minutes, I'm going to be having a meeting with uh, Mickey Watkins from World Mobile. So I'll let you know how that goes as we, it'll be an interview, so we'll see. Yeah, that's just it, probably could be. So right now in this, in this time frame, you have to look at it and go, it's just a building time. And uh, that's about it. And uh, is, can, is can Cardano compete with Ethereum? Sure it can. But what Mark is looking at is straight business, which is right now in this, in this time frame. It's not there yet. And uh, he was right by the transactions and the fees. But I got to tell you, uh, do you really want high fees? Vitalik doesn't want high fees. He's essentially uh, doing away this whole business model to bring forth things in the world. And then Shannon says, Cuban got rug pulled. True, Cuban got rug pulled many, well, a couple of times on DeFi. And then, of course, remember, he also chose Voyager to partner with. And uh, that didn't work out. But guess who else did it? Me. I looked at Voyager and said, this is a pretty good platform. I like the people, like what they're doing. Unbeknownst to me, and I think a lot of people, including Mark Cuban, uh, they were putting out these massive loans of over half a trillion dollars. Oh, excuse me, half a trillion. Uh, excuse me, half a billion. 648 million, something, give or take some millions, uh, to Three Rows Capital uncollateralized. So, can't get it all right. Arcane, it's not hating ADA, it's when ETH has its merge, Game of Freda. What is the merge gonna do? I mean, the merge is just the second step. It goes from proof of work to proof of stake, but does it reduce what is the biggest problem? Personally, I think it is, is the insanely high fees. That's not what it's going to do. And that'll hopefully happen in the sharding, which will be, the, I love that word. That'll be in the uh, third phase. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, JH says, very surprised about XRP. Me too. When I saw that day, I was like, wow. Makes me even more bullish. By the way, I hope your mods don't put me on time for like XRP like last time. I got a lot of mods. Ah, Jarky's here. Beardy day, 33%. Gotta love Jarky. Jar but Jarky, I think I'm saying it right. Hopefully. He gifted a bunch of people uh, uh, memberships to Digital Asset News, which is a whopping $2 a month. But it was a lot. So, Jarky, we thank you so much. That was awesome to give the people. Yeah. Someone gifted 80 membership. It's probably Jarky. Uh, everybody thank Jarky. That's the one who did it. Jarky Bajerson. Jerson. Jerson. Not good with names. Uh... Can Cardano send multiple tokens in one transaction? I have to take a look. I believe so. <laughs> Here's a great Tonza said, "Hey Rob, if there would be another leg down crypto drop, what would be the what would the catalyst be? If we look at 2008, 
every time S&P and NASDAQ uh, fell, there was a catalyst. The investors don't know of bad debts. War with China, World War III, that type of thing. Fed doesn't want to pivot. Inflation keeps going up. Collapse of the housing market, something like that. That's where I think it's going. Bitcoin will die. Maurice, I don't know if that's true. Let's give out some wrenches. Let's see. Hold on real quick. Let's see. Beardy's already a... <laughs> of course he is. Thank you, Bajarki, for again... I got I... Bajarki, how do you phonetically say your name so I can say it right? I'm sick of saying it wrong. Paul gets... A wrench. Byron, I don't know you yet. Uh, let's see. Jurgensen. God dang it. Real freedom next time. Why FTX over Coinbase is just the fees? Could be the fees. The spread also. You know, they also have a, a program where you spend like 30 bucks a month and you don't pay any fees. Uh, Austin. There you go. Cuban is smart. Cuban's a smart guy. But just because you get some things right doesn't mean you get all things right. Uh, did I miss anybody? Will gets a wrench. Corey gets a wrench. Final <laughs> wrench attack. Ah, that's it. Okay, everybody. That's pretty good. Uh, what else I got? Any questions? Ooh, looking better. Yeah, I got to go back to the doctor today. It's always fun. Doctors really can never just tell you, like, what's exactly wrong. Well, it could be this. It could be They're like TA people sometimes. Um... Let's see. As Charles Haas said in the past few years, TPS isn't a way to see if Cardano is doing well. It's like comparing how many watermelons can be transported in a trailer compared to peaches in the same thing. I guess. I don't really care about the transactions per second, which is just the throughput, which is just how fast it can go. The thing I was looking at is just overall transactions per day. That was the, that was the thing we were looking at. And just not a lot of transactions going on right now, but um, maybe that'll change. Look, World Mobile's up. Meld's going up. There's another one I forgot the name of it, but uh, we'll see. But yeah, I mean, sometimes you just, like, look, if somebody comes to me today and says, Rob, you're a moron. You forgot about this metric, and that's what makes it all make sense. Cool. Then that's it. Then I'll, I'll change my, my thought process. The thing is, though, is that do I think that Cardano is a bad investment? Not really. I mean, you can see the look, look at the ecosystem. Just right now in this point in time, Just not they're so fantastic. And then, of course, but that's just the Cardano issue. I mean, look at the bigger issues. Look at the, it's just, it's just things in time right now. Ah, Connor. Connor. Rob, with the SEC declaring certain coins and securities, how do you think this will impact their future prices and listing on exchange? First of all, it all depends on how much money they have, I hate to say it. But it really comes down to this. If you're deemed a security, then you have to register with the SEC, right? And then if it's just you and a handful of people, the exchanges don't want to deal with you because they're like, we don't want to have to go and register with the SEC because you know we don't want to uh, have any transactions for unregistered securities. That's the problem with Coinbase right now. So the question is, will these crypto assets be just a handful or will it be like 90 Damn it, 99% of them moving forward. Uh, that's the question. So that, that's like with like uh, what happened with AMP and, and Power and whatever else it was where the uh, SEC deemed them as a security, even though the uh, Department of Justice and uh, the CFTC said, no, they're not. Uh, it's just one of those things you want to say, like, is this going to affect those? It all comes down to, it really all comes down to how many they believe are security. Sorry, I the thing around. Uh, 
Wow. Nati says, Rob, I'm listening from Ethiopia. I invested in Bitcoin in 2020 when it was 10 grand. Very nice. Very nice for your dedication. Albert. Thanks for listening. Uh, TND Tesla is Mark Cuban, the guy selling medicines at cost. Yes. And that's a pretty great program he's got. Uh, I don't know what it's like over in different parts of the world, but uh, in America, good old America, uh, medication costs a lot of money. Trust me. Uh, you know, I used to work in uh, pharmaceutical research in Phoenix, Arizona, a place called MDS Pharma Services. And uh, these big, huge corporations would hire us to get people in and uh, so essentially experiment. And, uh, but this is, this is FDA approval. This is normal. It's not like we kidnapped them or something like that. But anyhow, the amount of money that, that went through just to get this to market is billions and billions of dollars. So they're going to make that up. And usually that's in the United States. With Mark Cuban, what he's trying to do is like, look, we're an online pharmacy. Whatever it costs us for the generics, you're going to pay 15% above that. And then $4 for shipping. And I'm like, that's pretty cool. Because, you know, when I had patients and things like that, it was a lot of them were like, I don't know if I'm going to eat this month or if I can afford my congestive heart failure medication. That's just the truth. Any thoughts on uh, A0? No. I don't know what it is. Uh, Algorand looks to be pretty good. Just not doing too much. It's a nice building. Uh, proof of work coins will prosper after the merge. We'll see. Shane Link says they're not going to uh, partner with anybody from there. Who knows? Gold has utility. Gold has does have utility. Um, transistors and jewelry, which I don't even have that. But uh, yeah, just they said it does. So okay. <laughs> oh wow! Congratulations. Uh, I managed to hit my two Bitcoin this month. Whew. It has been expensive, but as you always say, it's cheap now. It's, congratulations, man. That's great. What wallet would you say is the most secure for my dot? I have it staking on a crack and I'm concerned with the crack downs. I don't know. Dot. Who, that's what I actually, that's where I have mine staked too and cracking. So if someone else has a knowledge of that one, let me know. I don't know what that is. Holy smokes. Serious note, Nier just gave 20 million JavaScript developers the ability to develop on their chain. Don't sleep on Nier. For if Nier protocol can pull it off when Sweatcoin becomes a crypto and they can handle those millions of transactions, that'll blow up. And I actually am, that's where I get Nier on FTX. But why Doge dumb coin? I don't know. Him and Elon must love it, so I don't know. <laughs> Robin's pretty good. Everything is a good investment to buy in a bear market. Very true. All right, everybody. Uh, my opinion on Chiba, I don't understand the point of it. Sorry. Does that mean it's a bad investment? No, it just means that I'm not smart enough to understand everything. And that's it. Look, I'm feeling it now. So uh, I got to take off. I got an interview with Mickey Watkins. That'll be good from World Mobile, CEO, and uh, some other stuff going on. So look, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, still give it a thumbs up. And then uh, also consider subscribing. Uh, we do this thing every day. So thanks so much, everybody, for stopping by. I appreciate everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Adios.